Did you put this all together yourself, Mine? I sure did. It was my turn to cook for the family, after all. Well, everyone eat up before the food goes cold. I don't know. I've never seen cooking like that before. What are you doing with the water we use to boil the veggies? Don't worry about it. Let's give it a try. It's that is delicious! delicious. Huh? This pomi soup is absolutely incredible! Pomi is a combo of paprika and tomato. Oh. Oh, wow. That's tasty! In this world, it's standard practice to dump the water used to boil veggies. The vegetable flavors really pack a punch, don't they? <laughs> this wine steamed chicken's fantastic! The paro cakes you made us were delicious too. You must have a real talent for cooking mine. Maybe you could even become a chef when you grow up. Let's find a place to take her as an apprentice. Huh? <laughs> oh crap! I won't be able to make my books that way! I need to go to the forest and make clay tablets already! Well, a chef? But I already have a goal! Huh? Just what kind of goal, honey? I want... to go to the forest! <laughs> <laughs> go to the forest, she says! <laughs> Sweetheart, we're talking about career goals at the moment. But I'm being serious right now. I want to make some clay tablets, and that's why I need to go to the forest! Clay tablets? Yes! I'll write on them and make my very own book! Writing? Come on, you going to the forest? No way! Yes way, Tootie! I haven't even been sick lately! But mine, you can't walk as far or fast as us. I can make it to the well without being out of breath now! I'll be fine, promise! What happens if you're only able to walk part of the way? You'll be a burden to everyone else. Well, I... Trudy goes to the forest all the time. She knows best. You should listen to her, mine. What can I do to get your permission? First, build up your stamina and strength. No forest trips until then. Yeah, fine. With no means of going to the forest, my desire for books could only simmer inside. But then one day... Me? Mr. Otto's assistant? He needs you to help him with the files that require lots of calculations. You think mine can even handle a job like that? Yeah. Apparently, she's worked on it with him once before. He told me she'd been a huge help. Seriously? But still, it's against the law for an unbaptized child to be employed by anyone. That means, officially, you'll be going up there to learn how to read and write. <gasps> really? Uh-huh. He has to teach the apprentice soldiers how to write, and he'll teach you along with them. Which means you should learn everything you can from him. <sighs> Your body is frail, mine, but Otto said you were the smartest kid he's ever met. And that you can make a fine scrivener. What's a scrivener? Someone who helps with paperwork to send to nobility or officials. It pays well and isn't physically demanding either. Perfect. Before becoming a soldier, Otto was a traveling trader. And he still has connections with merchants. The jobs your mother and I can refer you to wouldn't suit you in the slightest. Try and maintain a good relationship with Otto. Thank you, Dad. I'll do that. Oh, one thing. These are the terms of employment. You'll be paid in slate pencils, and you're allowed to take time off when sick. And also, Otto kept stressing how financially favorable these terms were for him. How can he be so petty with a kid? <laughs> He'll reap all the benefits of an assistant without burning a hole in his pocket. Sounds like Otto's still a businessman. This is a chance to get stronger. When you're able to keep up with the other kids on the walk, you can go to the forest. Does that sound good, mine? I will! Thanks so much! Don't force yourself. Take your time, okay? Okay, Dad. I understand. Ultimately, I made it roughly to the midpoint before Dad had to carry me the rest of the way. Let me introduce your new classmate. This is mine, the Chief's daughter. Now, don't you boys even think about messing with her. Yes, 
sir. Good. Then let's begin. The basic alphabet consists of 35 letters. Let's practice how to write them. Honestly impressed with how quickly you learn these letters. I'd much rather be doing this kind of work than physical activities. That aside, Mr. Otto, hmm? I think it may be time for the group to move on from studying the alphabet. What? Already? Just look at them. They're starting to fidget. That means the boys are starting to lose focus. You should switch to a different subject to bring them back. Okay, but what? And that does it for the alphabet class. Uh, Next up will be numbers. Uh... That's all the time we have, class. Be sure to memorize all the letters and numbers we worked on today by next time. Come prepared, or you'll have to stay until you get everything down pat. Okay! They got out of here fast. Guess boys will be boys. Now hold on, mine. Those boys aren't gonna learn anything if I make it too easy for them. Oh, but it's not that easy. If they don't do their homework by next time, they won't get to go home at all. I suppose, but... Mr. Otto, you really shouldn't compare those boys to me. Uh, yeah, guess you're right. All right, I'll try things out your way for a while and we'll see how it goes. Much appreciated. <laughs> that said, it's your turn to start memorizing. Let's learn how the alphabet works in practice. <gasps> Yahoo! More letters! Every day I head home with Turi and the gang as they're coming back from the forest. So what's there for you to do at the gate? Edmund, I mean, Mr. Otto's teaching me how to write. You know how to write? I only know how to write my own name so far, but yeah. Mine, you're awesome. You have to be real smart to write your own name. Oh, you think? In this world, just knowing how to write is a pretty big deal. It makes complete sense that Otto would want me for an assistant. You guys, walk way too fast. Take all the time you need, mine. No, I'm fine. Your father and Turi both asked me to take care of you. I'll walk you all the way home, so don't worry. Thank you, Lutz. Why am I so tired when I've only come this far? I'll be here with you the whole time. You will? Hang in there, mine. <clears throat> and so, I began commuting to the gate. At first, I'd go one day and spend the next three in bed. Later, I could go three days and only take one off. And finally, I went to the gate five straight days this week. Daddy, may I go to the forest? You may. Huh? I can't wait! Well, someone here is on cloud nine. <laughs> well, I say she deserves a reward for her efforts. get any better without sleep. How would you like to hear a bedtime story? A long time ago, up in the sky, there lived some little twinkling stars. And those sweet little stars... I remember this. The first time Mom told me this story was right after I became mine. Those stars loved coming down to visit the Earth. They befriended people all across the land. When I finally got to go to the forest, spring was ending. Three months after I first started commuting to the gate. Wow, the forest! Hey, we're 
gonna start gathering some firewood now. You stay here and rest up, okay? Yeah, all right. Long last, I made it! I can finally make clay tablets now! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> As if I'd come all this way to go home with nothing. Now, clay soil, reveal yourself to me! Oh, rock hard! Oh. I refuse to quit! I can't find anything. What do you think you're doing, mine? You gave your word, made a promise to your father. Making it to the forest and back is your only goal. When you get there, I want you to rest up and prepare to come back here with the others. You understand? Yeah. My only goal for today will be to go to the forest where I'll get some rest for the journey back home. Yeah, I know that, but you see, I was trying... Bringing that thing along with you tells me you never had any intention of keeping your word. <gasps> Willa, I finally got my chance to come out to the forest, and I, I just... You just... Planned every step. So you told your dad a big fat lie? Mm -mm. What your father said, he only asked that out of concern for your health. But look at you. I never would have thought you could be so untrustworthy. Sorry. <sighs> so tell me, what were you trying to do? Huh? When I told Lutz that I wanted clay soil, he took me to a nearby spot with very little vegetation and poor drainage. Why are you helping me? I thought you were upset about me lying. Over the winter, you discovered paru cakes. You fed me when I was starving. Ever since, I decided to help you however I could. Uh, so that's it? Yeah. I said I'd be there for you, didn't I? But you need to tell me what you're trying to do here, okay? Just trust me. I will, thanks. Here, is this what you were looking for? Oh, yeah, this is it! You are amazing, Lutz! It would have taken me days to collect this much soil! No boy could ever be weaker than you are, mine. So, what'll you do with all this? I'm making my own book! Book? Mm-hmm. Now watch this! Oh, are these letters? That's correct. When you've learned how to write things down, you can use letters to turn momentary things like ideas or events that you'd otherwise forget into words, making them permanent memories which you can then read over all you want. Huh? A book is special. It's something that's filled with writing like that. Yeah? Yeah. With books, you can learn what people in the distant past were actually thinking and experience so much more than you'd normally be able to over the course of an average lifespan. Don't books sound wonderful? I'll leave you to it while I collect firewood. Right. Thank you so much for your help, Lutz. Of course. than I thought. I wonder if they've dried yet. Get moving! Hey, hold up! <clears throat> Whoa, what are these? No, oh, those are... <gasps> Me too! <laughs> <laughs> no, don't! <laughs> Stop it now! <gasps> What's wrong? Mine! <sighs> My clay tablets... You ruined them! What? Were those squishy rocks important or something? Huh? Hey, something's up with her! Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get this far? Going to the gate? Lutz and Turi helping me along the way? For nothing? How could you, Faye? I... I didn't know, but I'm really sorry, mine. I'll never forgive you for this! <sighs> Just take
take it easy. You know the boys would never mean to upset you like this on purpose, right? I can see why you're so upset, though. You worked so hard to make it this far. Mine, I... Let's dig up the soil and help her make new ones. There, we can finish the rest tomorrow. However, I was bedridden with another fever, and it continued to rain for a few days straight. The rain did this! It wasn't us, I swear! I know, but still... If you have enough time to cry, then you have the time to try again. of them went off to gather firewood, but Lutz stayed behind to help me out the whole way. Say there, mine. Is this the kind of work you want to do in life? Well, what I really want is to live a life surrounded by interesting books. A life surrounded by this stuff? Not at all. Real books are too expensive for me to buy. These are just a substitute. What do you want to do in life, Lutz? What, me? Yeah. You have a goal in mind, too. Isn't that right? Mm. My life. I want... I want to travel to other cities. To other cities? I'll be a traveling trader, and I'll go see the world for myself. A grand journey sounds good. What? Are you being serious right now? That means leaving the city, you know. Yeah, it sounds rather fun. At one point, my dream was to go and visit libraries all across the world. Libraries? Yeah, places with lots of books. That dream can never come true now, though. Oh, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll end up doing anything you put your mind to. Maybe you should try doing that, too. <gasps> all done! Oh, a book. When I first came here, I thought I wasn't meant to live in a world without books. But I found things I hold dear in this place, too. If I have my books, I'll be fine. I can't help but feel like I finally found a path for myself in this world. So mine, what did you write on them? The story about the little stars that came to Earth? It's special to me because Mom told it on the first night. On the first night? Yeah. The earliest story I remember her telling me. At first, I was unable to accept the fact that I was now mine. I found Mom's affection oppressive. Even then, when I decided to make my own book, this story was the first thing to come to mind. And now... I want to turn all of Mom's bedtime stories into their own books. That way, I know I won't forget them. When they're books, I can always remember. I feel like this is the first time I've been able to smile genuinely since becoming mine. Now if I bake and harden them, they'll be done! Mine? Help! Clay tablets were a dead end too, but that's not enough to make me give up. What will you do next? What? Oh yeah, what does come next? Oh, I've got it. Next up should be your baptism. Baptism, eh? Huh? Then it's my time to shine. Hi, priest, but no screen time for you. Fine, you really shouldn't be talking to weird strangers like that. <laughs>